Hello everyone, this is your boy Isaac. Welcome to the Cookman. Today we're going all the way to Ghana. There's one beautiful Ghanaian who is willing to show us how a Ghanaian food is cooked. Let's go to her. Hey Stuart, how are hey, you? Hey Sandy, I'm doing good. Are you ready? Yes. To show us what yeah. you have? Let's get it. Let's go. Hello guys, so right now we are in Sandy's kitchen. Sandy is going to give us her best out of the best. Sandy, are you ready? Oh yes, I am. Today we're going to be making some spinach stew with some plantain. And garnishing it with some avocado and cilantro on top of it. Have you guys heard it? This is going to be so sweet. But before that, Sandy, you, oh. like, you know, get me an apron. You need your apron. I need an apron, please. Red color. And blue. Red and blue. Mm-hmm. The A-team here. <laughs> and the B team. Oh. Alright. B team never lose. Let me put it on. I am the B team. Alright, while he's doing that, let me show you off, you know, the ingredients. Okay. First of all, we've got some palm oil, we've got some plantain, some spinach, tomatoes, onions, tomato paste, my chicken that's already seasoned, my egg, which we're gonna be using for later on. So yeah, let's get to it. So let's get into how are you going to prepare it? Please. All right, so first we're going to start with our palm oil. Mm -hmm. So as um, a substitute, if you're not familiar with this, you can always use um, oh. any type of um, white oil. Is that white, white oil? oil? <laughs> no, you, the yellowish one is called white. Uh, is that what you call it? Um, oh, so you can use unico, unico oil. A unico like oil. Re regular vegetable oil yeah. instead of our not trying oil. to make an advert for unico. But anyways, it's a good one. Yeah. All right. so, so you can use an unico oil. All right, so we're going to start. We're going to pour this in. Mm -hmm. Let's open this bad boy. Do you have an amount of measurement that you have to... When I'm cooking, I like to just, you know, flow and let the spirit say, that's enough, and I just stop. Mm -hmm. I don't measure. I cook, because, you know, cooking doesn't have to be stressful. I feel like when we're cooking, a lot of people like to stress yeah, themselves yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Most we don't want to stress ourselves out when we're cooking, yeah. Take a scoop and all those stuff. But for measurement's sake, this is about maybe one-third of a cup, but I just go, and when the spirit says done... And I stop. That's it. And that's it. Right. So now that we've got mm -hmm. this going, we're going to put it on medium heat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my chicken, mm -hmm. which is already seasoned. Okay. So it's seasoned with garlic, ginger, onions, and hot pepper. You always need hot pepper. I like my spice. So we're just going to go ahead and put that in here. Yeah. Okay. Put that in here. And we're just going to add a little bit of water. Water, okay. Just a little bit of water to get some stock, mm -hmm. which is going to go later on in the stew. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of water. So you're going to boil this separately? Right? Yes, this is going to be separate and this is going to later on go into the stew. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to leave that to cook. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So How long are you going to also boil this? About, just about two minutes just for you to hear some sizzling. Once you, the sizzling... So, so right now it's sleeping. The red oil it mm -hmm. sleeps, right? So right now it just needs to clear to go uh, yeah, to, to get, get a clear, melt. yeah, to melt to get a clear consistency. Okay. Once that's done, we're gonna put our onions in there and start the game rolling. The game rolling. Yeah. Alright, so. Sandra. Some people may want to know a little bit about you. So uh, <laughs> please don't put me in the spot. What do you want to know? No, I just want to know because at least yeah. I mean, just want to know where you're from and all those stuff. So how long have you been in Canada? Have you been in Canada? So I'm originally from Ghana. Well, I'm still Ghanaian, uh, but I came to Canada um, at the age of thir uh, 13. I'm not trying to age myself here, and um, I've been here ever since. So, so yeah. you came at the age of 13, I, I, I know you're I'm trying to so guess my age. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. But I'm trying to say that if you came at the age of 13, it's mostly like um, you were born here. We will consider you to be somebody who was born here. Because you so, might um, consider me, I, well, I am Canadian, but I'm also proud of my Ghanaian heritage. Okay. You know, you've got to be proud of where you're from. And yeah, okay. that made me to the person that I am today. So, okay. yeah. Thank you so much for giving us your background. Okay, so let's go on to All right, so mm -hmm. now that this is clear, we're going to get our onions over here, which is already cut and ready to go. Okay. And that's going to go straight in here. Mm -hmm. Right? This is going to go straight in here. Why are you 
separately? Yes, I, I, no, 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 not separately. But I want to know why, because I see we have so many ingredients, at least four. But why did you, did you decide to use the onion first? Because the onion is going to say it's the onion is the base for every cooking that we do, and that gives it um the flavor, the flavor and the, yeah. So if it's going to really go and mesh in well with the um. Palm oil, so oh, that's always the first thing yeah, that first we start with. Yeah, in, in tradition, in tradition, in regular tradition, mm -hmm, Ghanaian mm -hmm. cooking, the onion is always the first sort of yeah. base. Yeah. yeah okay. So that is also going to be on the stove for how many minutes? So this is going to sizzle for maybe about three, four minutes. Three, four minutes. Three, yeah, maybe three, yeah, four maximum, minutes. Yeah. Let's say four minutes. And then yeah. once that's done, we're going to add our stock so we've got our stock here so basically this contains mm -hmm. um onions mm -hmm. garlic ginger and some hot pepper and that we're gonna put that in there yes. and that is also oof, it's that is also flavor. going to give another flavor flavor this is flavor, so how many flavor, flavor? Do you want it to hey, i mean it's all about flavor and the taste right, right and right. for Ghanaian cooking you mm -hmm. want to eat and just you know yeah, you know what? You, you, trust me, when you're even outside, you can still smell it. Right? Mm, it feels so good. Okay. So while this is sizzling, mm -hmm. you can see, you can see from. Yeah, I right? can see that. Yeah. It's sizzling. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give it another maybe two minutes mm -hmm. for it to kind of brown a little bit. Yeah, yeah caramelize. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add our flavor profile in there. Oh. Yeah. I thought we were going to bring the um, the spinach because you showed me as well. Okay, so the so this, spinach will go in before. Yeah, okay. the spinach is one of the last things that we're going to put into the stew. Because oh, the spinach, this is fresh spinach. It takes about two, three minutes to cook. It doesn't take very long. Okay. And that's the last ingredients that we're going to put. Sometimes, sometimes, okay. I, I just want to bring this up because sometimes I see when people are cooking, well, I'm from Ghana, so in yeah. one, obviously I'm going to go back. Sometimes they, they boil the spinach, spinach also separate before the... Put that in put there. In the eye, because yeah. we're in Canada and we don't have the regular Guinean spinach, mm -hmm. we use this as a substitute. This is great spinach too, it's fresh spinach. Or you can also use the um, frozen spinach, which is already oh. chopped and ready to go. Oh, okay. This you need to boil. You so this you cut it. the um, you cut the wrapper, you get a, a bowl mm -hmm. or a mm -hmm. saucepan, mm -hmm. put that in there, add a little bit of water, okay. and that's going to steam for about 10-15 minutes mm -hmm. to cook mm -hmm. through, and then that's you're gonna add that in to the sauce. Okay, so it's the yeah. same spinach, it's the same but spinach. that is frozen. Yeah. Okay. And this is easier and faster, and faster. right? Yeah. Okay. That is the difference. It depends on the results that you're also trying to Where achieve, did you right? Get that though? No fills. No fills. No All no. my I shop at no fills, you know. Great value. We're not trying to make yeah, an right, advertiser yeah. for no fills, but no fills is yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Okay. okay. All right. And yeah, give it another minute, another and we're going minute, to we're going put to our flavor bomb here. in here. Yeah. We're gonna add our flavor bomb in mm -hmm. here, and we're just going to go ahead and okay. put all of that in there. Okay. Can you smell the flavor? I can smell it. I can smell it. We added some salt, but I'm also going to add a pinch of salt. And once again, I don't really measure when I'm cooking. I just sort of free. I don't, I, I don't really measure when I'm cooking. Uh, why? But why? because uh, I, I grew up in Ghana, right? So it was something that I never, uh, we, we never measured. Yeah, right. Even cutting things on cutting board, it's very, I find it very, I don't know, very really difficult because yeah. I'm not used to it. Mm -hmm. So my hands are sort of like cutting board. <laughs> We eyeball it, but it still comes out great. Yeah, so, great. our chicken is cooking mm -hmm. great. So, which one are you using? Is this is a soft, soft This one? is a soft chicken, and I'm mostly using breast for this uh, sauce. So, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. this is the soft chicken, which okay. cooks faster. It takes about 20 minutes to give or take to mm -hmm. cook, mm -hmm. and then the stock that comes out of the uh, okay. chicken, mm -hmm. we're gonna add that in here. Awesome. Yeah. And, and this is going to sizzle for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Once that, you know, it's sizzle and it's all sauteed together, okay. we're gonna add our tomatoes and then finally our tomato paste. So give this another two to three minutes. Okay. Right. okay, so now we're ready for the tomato part. We're going to add our fresh tomatoes. Okay, we're gonna add our fresh tomatoes. And we're gonna let that also simmer and kind of mix with the onions the onion, and our okay. flavor profile. And then once this is simmering, mm -hmm. we're gonna add our tomato paste. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. 
and then we're gonna leave the stew to just cook and do its thing. Okay. Yeah, and that's gonna cook for around maybe 10, 15 minutes to really, really cook because the tomato is very, it's very potent, right? And okay. it's very tomato, uh, tomato, uh, very toma tomato y. <laughs> if that's a word, I'm not sure if that's a word. No, but <laughs> can, you, can you say that it, um, it's somehow it's sour? It's strong. No, it's, it's not sour. Tomato is very strong. So you don't wanna taste the tomato paste when Pasty you eat it, right? So you wanna let the tomato paste. Cook, cook, right? Yeah. So you, don't, you, don't, you, so don't you let it taste. You let it cook for 10, 15 minutes to really get that tomato yeah. paste out of it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm. And that's why we use fresh as well as the tomato paste to kind of yeah, get okay. that. Okay. Yeah, because then it's yes. quite strong Probably on its okay. own. Yeah. Okay. It gives it a nice okay. color too, because this right now you're seeing a lot. It's it's a la, little um, reddish. Mm -hmm. This uh, little red orange. This gives it a nice color. color. When you, especially when you add the spinach and the, the contrast together mm -hmm. with the green and the red, it really pops up. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. give it another maybe two three minutes, and then we're gonna add our tomato paste. Mm -hmm. Our chicken is nearly done. Mm -hmm. This is just flavor. It's flavor upon flavor. Yeah. Can't you get a flavor in the stew? Because you can, but it, it, it adds on to the, um, the stew. Because mm. we need the stock from it, right? So without that flavor, without the flavor from the chicken to the sauce, mm. it makes a difference. Yeah. So you need a little bit of um, that flavor, that broth from the chicken, from the chicken. to add on to the oh, stew, which okay. it, it takes it on to a different uh, level. level. Yeah, right. Different yeah, level, yeah. 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 So right now we're going to add our tomato mm -hmm. paste. Tomato paste is a must in Ghanaian cooking. Okay. So, but you don't, I mean, if if you prefer not to use tomato paste, mm -hmm. you can also use just the uh, fresh tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And that is also fine. But to get the thickness of what yeah, I was talking the consistency okay. mm -hmm. and the bright colors, yeah, this is what I was talking about. So, yeah. Just turned reddish. Yeah, for it to like. And light then food. it's not as light as before. Yes, it's not. There's more, so we're gonna leave this to cook. For a cook, while. Yeah, cook for a while. Okay. And our chicken is nearly done, so I'm just gonna put that on low mm -hmm. heat, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. Sandra. What's with the jacket? Yeah, I don't know what is over the food, <laughs> but I just can't wait. So what is going on? The meal is almost done, mm -hmm. but at this point, we're going to add our spices. So, this is my own personal spice oh, mix yeah. that I made. It has some paprika, black pepper, mm -hmm. um, parsley flakes, mm -hmm. rosemary, a hint of um, curry powder, and a dash of cinnamon, and that's... Whew. What? So you made all I, this? Yeah. How did you come up with the idea? How did I mean, okay, so I actually visited a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and she had a huge bottle of spice, and mm -hmm. I was, she was mixing it, so I'm like, why can't I make my own spice? No, no, and yeah. because I'm not too big of a fan of the um, Maggi uh, Maggi Q, mm -hmm. this is a healthier option. But if you also prefer, you can also use the Maggi, Maggi and it gives Q. you know the same, right. the same great way. result. Yeah, right. but this is my own personal spice. So, all right, so now okay. we're just going mm -hmm. to... You don't take measurement for no, this? No, I don't measure. It. It's when the spirit says stop, then you got to <laughs> stop. <laughs> all right, now we're just going to add that in here. Okay. Right? Mm. We're going to stir so it. You bought it, and I'm talking about my viewers. If we don't have the same spirit as you, how are they going to measure it? Anyway? You can always use a teaspoon mm -hmm. and by taste. So, right now, mm -hmm. we are going to do a little taste test. Are you okay. ready for a little taste I'm test? Really, but before we do that, that's also, the reason why I want to <laughs> do that. We're also going to add another flavor. Another, um, what is that? This is. Um, please, uh, oh, I see. So, this contains um, rosemary leaf. Mm -hmm. Parsley and uh, what do you call it? Um, rosemary flakes oh, and I bay see. leaves and bay leaves. And bay leaves. Yes, it's essential mm. for cooking. So we're gonna just go ahead and put Drop that everything. put that in there, mm. and we're going to give it a stir. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. would, would you like to give this a taste? Of course, I just go away. Get me, get me. What? It's so hot, though. <laughs> Don't ever try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> This food is out of the world. It's so delicious. I wish you were here to taste it. Anyways. Mm. Alright. So at this point now, All right. we are going to mm -hmm. add our chicken and mm -hmm. our stock in here. Mm -hmm. Our chicken mm -hmm. and our stock. We're okay. just going to go ahead and just dump this in. Mm. 
and now this is just going to the stock. Okay. Simmer for about just two minutes, and while that this is simmering, mm -hmm. I'm going to crack, oh, I'm going to actually cut my your plantain. My plantain. Is that a, a red plantain? I this is that. red. This is red plantain. Mm -hmm. Some people like it green. Mm -hmm. For this, I like it ripe, and I'm sure you also make a line straight across. And I'm gonna use my hand to just. Do you do you always have to make that that line? Yeah, to 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 get the the exact you know position of you know. Okay, uh, get in the uh, the skin off effortlessly. Okay. You make that line so that it's just Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're gonna put this on the side. We're gonna cut the next one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make the line to go across the leg. Say. And voila. Sunday salsa is the first thing. Mmm. Now we're gonna give this a nice wash. Mm -hmm. Nice quick wash. Oh, you have to wash it. Yeah. Well, I thought I thought you have it inside something, and so. Uh, some people, too. some people yeah. prefer not to wash it, uh, but I prefer to wash yeah, it just, yeah. just because. So it depends on your preference. Yeah, so now right. we're just gonna cut it. Mm -hmm. it uh, the cutting techniques, it's mm -hmm. really um, up to you. You can cut it straight. You can mm -hmm. cut it diagonal. Mm -hmm. You can really do whatever you want, and you okay. can go vertical. But I'm gonna do it um, vertical. So. Okay. So I'm gonna go this way. Slide vertical. Slide vertical. Yeah. Okay. For me, if I were you, I would have just cut that. <laughs> for, for a nice and good presentation, yes. we need this. So we're just going to give our bowl a quick rinse. Mm -hmm. We're going to quickly pop this in here. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with the plantain? Are you going to so boil? So I'm going, going to boil to my plantain. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to boil my plantain in just about a third of water. Mm. And this is going to go here on a low, medium heat. Mm -hmm. And ooh, I'm going to add an egg. An egg to the into plantain. the plantain, and that's gonna cook with it. Ooh. It comes out perfectly. Okay. It comes out perfectly, and I'm just going to add um some salt. And some salt. And again, I don't measure for mm -hmm. um the people at home. You can take a teaspoon and do maybe um a third, just just a just a pinch of. For, for the sake of this purpose, maybe okay. just a little, and this much is good, but then again, I don't measure, so. Right. <laughs> right? Well, I think for the salt, it depends on how you want it. Some, right? yeah, yeah. Some people are low salt. Some people are low salt. You know, low heat, and, right? So now that this is simmered for a while, the next thing that we're going to put in here mm -hmm. is our... Spinach. But Sandy, it seems you forgot something. What about the cilantro? That's garnish. Ooh, that's okay. going to be for garnish. That's that's just you know to make the plate look. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So the time is not up yet. It's not up yet. Okay. So this is our fresh spinach, mm -hmm. and the spinach just swallows up the stew. So once I'm just gonna go ahead and just dump this in here. It's which so is the main is the star of the ingredient, and I put that last. Because the spinach takes less time mm. to cook. It's just, there it is, mm -hmm. there it is, there it is. To get a nice for it to all mix in here. Yeah. And the spinach is in there. This okay. is just going to simmer a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now I'm at a point where we're going to be using our mm -hmm. eggs. So I've got two eggs. I'm going to crack it, okay. whisk it. Mm -hmm. Dump it over the stew. And Dump it over the stew? Yes. And so that means we have three eggs. You have one, then you're boiling it, and then the yeah. other one that you're going to dump into the stew. Yes, oh, absolutely. Nice. absolutely. Is, right. that, is it also going to give another so that's, that's So that's mm -hmm. it. Uh, so this is um, my protein, right? It's my meat. So oh. some people can, you can use chicken, you can use beef, you can use fish, whatever fish, you want. Yeah. I just prefer to use um, oh, yeah. chicken and egg yeah. as my meat for this. Uh, for this tea, yeah, for this tea, tea, yeah. yeah. Alright. So, right now I'm just going to crack the egg. Crack it. Give it a crack. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I thought I was going to use a knife. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> crack the egg and, you know, just make sure you don't get a shell in there. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And I'm going to get my fork okay. and I'm just going to right. whisk it. 
No, you have to stay that too. Yeah, just mm. whisk it. No, you want, you want to mix the yolk and the... Uh, yeah, just to get it all equally mixed. Mm. And while this is just simmering, mm -hmm. uh, we're just going to let this simmer for two, just a little, two minutes. Okay. And then we're going to add our egg. Okay. So this spinach is a star. Just look at the color, the contrast. Right now we have green and a red color. It almost looks like our uh, our earphones, but then, uh, <laughs> oh, actually my earphones. Yours is blue. Okay. Mine, mine is blue. But I, I was putting the green one too. No, green. I mean, a, a stew that looks like a blue. Um, no, we don't. We don't have any stew that looks like blue. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm stewing. I'm not really sure where you go with this, but uh -huh. I'm, you, you're, you're trying. I mean, unless you're talking about blueberry pie, but that's not that's not a stew. No blueberry pie. We don't. I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. Is it a stew? I'm I'm not sure. Maybe you can tell me blue, something about blue, it. Blueberry pie is a pie. It's a pie. It's a pie. Oh, okay. It's not a stew. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So right now, we're going to put our egg, and we're just going to let it go around, and this is going to cook. Perfect. That is going to cook. Yes. So right now. And we spread this across the, the stew. Yes. So we're just going to leave, leave this and it's just going to cook. Cook. Mm. So it's just going to cook. While the plantain is boiling. Plantain is also The boring. plantain takes about 15, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Final product of our spinach mm -hmm, stew with mm -hmm, egg mm -hmm, and chicken. Mm -hmm. So. As you can see, this is the final product. The final product. Would you like to give it of a Of course, taste? sure. Okay. No, 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 I want that egg. Okay. Want that egg. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Give me that egg. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. It's hot though. I should have gotten this food. <laughs> you want to try it? You can be in the camera to try it now. So this is the final product and our plantain, sorry about that, mm -hmm. our plantain and our egg is completely cooked. All you need to do is just drain the water. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm going to get the egg out and mm -hmm. we're going to have a perfectly boiled egg. Mm -hmm. Instead of boiling the egg separately, you mm -hmm. don't need to. So right now I'm just going to put it over cold water, gentle with the peel. Mm. I love eggs. Any thin eggs goes great. Oh yeah? I love eggs. So how many times do you eat eggs? I in eat a like I in can a week, in, a week. in a week. Okay, well you know lately I've been sort of limiting eggs, yes. but I can do about maybe a box. Um a box? No, well not a <laughs> week. Well not a fucking Uh guys, I don't think you have to pull a Sandra on this please because not if I'm a box. Myself, sometimes you have to listen to the doctor. Not advice. a box. Not, not a, a box. box. So this is my perfectly boiled mm -hmm. egg, mm -hmm. and this is going to be cut, mm -hmm. and it's going to yeah go with the plantain. So right now mm -hmm. we're going to plate. Oh, okay. We're going to do some plating. Mm -hmm. So I brought the plate myself from home. We're going to do some nice yeah. plating. Mm -hmm. Would you have to arrange that too? Oh, I mean, for just for just for presentation, I would, because you know people eat with their eyes, right? So it's all about the the looks. Oh, okay. okay. It's all about the looks. Uh, right. It's all about the looks. Right now, the plantain is ready. The plantain is ready. Add it on the plate. I'm going to. And we're going to add this to this stew. Chicken and spinach stew with some egg on the side. Okay. Good. A second last mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. avocado. Oh, avocado. Oh, I love avocado. Avocado. So I sometimes even blend it myself. To make a smoothie. Oh, I blend it and mix it. Yeah, to make a smoothie. So I make a smoothie. Cut our avocado. Yeah, with sometimes strawberry and ice. Yeah.